last night uh, we played Brahms' Third Symphony, uh, as well as a Mozart Symphony and a Mendelssohn Overture. Um, the trombones were involved in the Brahms Symphony, and Brahms is always a joy to play for trombone players. Uh, Brahms treats us very much like a choir, uh, and whether we're playing quiet or loud, we have to achieve a certain type of sound, a very sort of round, supportive sound, to fit in with the rest of the orchestra. Um, and Brahms 3 has a couple of fantastic moments, really nice chorales, loud and soft, for us to uh, fit in. Um, one of the challenges is, is really to do with the new situation we find ourselves in. Um, we had the opportunity last night to play for the first time um, with Ryan Wigglesworth, uh, the conductor who we haven't worked with before. And uh, at the start of the rehearsals he was commenting on the sort of uh, very strange setup we have because obviously we have to be two metres apart at least. Um, and there's perspex screens everywhere. Um, what that means is that we're, we're much more spread out and that has a huge effect on the way we hear the sound. Now the trombones sit right at the back of the hall and we're actually in the choir stalls um, for most of the performances this season. Uh, that means there's a huge distance between us and the conductor and us uh, the various other sections within the orchestra. Uh, so if we listen to the music that's happening uh, by the time it gets to us, quite often it's very, very late. And so if we play to what we hear, uh, we are then late sounding at the front to the conductor and to the audience. So it's our job to sort of guess and predict how much in front of everyone else we have to play to make it all sound. The worst points um, in time are always the last no notes of pieces, so especially the quiet notes. So when we get to the last note of a piece, Brahms, uh, in several of the movements, has a very, very quiet last chord. And as the conductor puts the beat down, there's always a slight hesitation among in orchestras as, as to when to play that. So when you've got these sort of um, expansions in the size of the orchestra, that makes it even worse. So, so you've really got to be on the edge of your seat and trying to guess exactly where to place that sound and of course because we have to play in front we feel like we're playing by ourselves so <laughs> it's, it's, it's a really strange experience but uh, hopefully it all comes together in the end and uh, it's just an extra cha challenge that makes it all the more fun so hopefully the audience enjoyed it last night it was fantastic fun playing uh, and uh, we're looking forward to um, the rest of the season so nice to um, nice to talk to you all and uh, hopefully see you at some point during the season